Hi, my favorite readers, it's Miss Miranda here. Today I have a sweet story to share with you. It is called Only One You, and this story was recommended to me by Miss Ortega over at Griffith Joyner Elementary, so I wanna shout out Miss Ortega. And it's written by Linda Kronz. And the illustrations in this book are really, really special and beautiful. Dedicated to Claus, I give you my heart for safekeeping from the author. It's time, Papa said. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what, Audrey asked. Papa's voice softened. To share some wisdom. I wonder what wisdom they're gonna share with their son today. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. Look for beauty wherever you are and keep the memory of that beautiful thing with you. So this story kind of shares some, some tips and some advice that um, this friend is getting from his parents and his family. So I want you to kind of think about some advice that your family gives you and see if some of the messages parallel and if they're similar. Blend in when you need to, but stand out when you have the chance. We just did a read aloud on Malala, and she was somebody who stood out when she needed to. Find your own way. You don't always have to follow the crowd. Know when to speak up and know when to be a listener. No matter how you look at it, there's so much to discover. Lots of really beautiful, unique little fish in here. If you make a wrong turn, circle back. If something gets in your way, move around it. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect every single day. And that's definitely something you can do while you're home, readers. Appreciate art. It's all around you. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. We've been really fortunate to get some beautiful views of the stars recently. Thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you will remember, Papa winked and whispered. We know this is a lot for you to think about. Audrey did a backward somersault and smiled. He was excited to go out into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to his new friend. Before he swam away, he turned back to his parents and said, I will remember. Mama kissed Audrey on the top of his head. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. So, make the world a better place. And that's the end of this one. So I want you to think about readers. What do you think the central message might be in this story? Only one you. He talks about really being unique and being yourself and how there's only one you in the whole wide world. So think about what was the message that you think Audrey's parents wanted to share with him this time. And I'll ask my readers that in our work tomorrow in Seesaw. Love you guys. Bye.